Hello, everyone. I am back with another pretty care analysis. Uh, finally. It's like it's been like about one year since now with the last two Fatari Ron Splash Star. But I'm back for back reason for why it takes so long to make these would definitely be that I need to do research. Not just on the whole Pretty Cure season the analysis is based on, but also like what the director is known for and everything else who worked it on the season and everything like that. But also that the series runs with my care information series on Pretty Cure where I explain each character separately, so I don't go into full detail here on them. So once I've completed all characters whose information I have available, that's not like small or that, because at the time of this, I didn't do all of the Fatari Wa villains, because there's not a lot of information, and also I that it comes from the character development and all that stuff. But anyhow, let's not t make this into a long intro here, and you want to get into the topic that we're talking here, right? That says it in the title, the analysis of Yes Pretty Cure 5 and its sequel, Go Go. So, like I did with the formula of Tori Wara and Max Heart, they'll be compiled together here, unlike Splash Drive because it doesn't have a sequel. But, um, let's not stop rambling and get into the analysis. I am going on a talking typing script here of a raid. Also, one other thing, if I get something wrong, you can tell me that in the comments, and I'll pin it, it just to tell say that. Thanks. So, okay, so now let's get started. <laughs> Yes, Pretty Care 5 is the fourth series and season of the Pretty Care franchise. However, the wiki fandom seems to mark it as the third in the series, but I'll call it the fourth because of I called Splash Star the third. But this is directed by Toshiaka Kimura, succeeding Fatari Wa Pretty Cure Splash Star in its time slot. The story in this season is about a group of five girls, this time for the first time in the series officially, who all have the ability to transform into Pretty Cure. The goal is to collect 55 fairy creatures known as Pinkies, which are spread across the land. Collected them will help save the magical land in this season called Palmyra Kingdom. Each of the five girls' powers are based on natural elements, human characteristics, and emotions such as hope, intelligence, etc. that embody each character's personality and also drew butterflies. The season is directed by Toshiaki Kimura, who has done a lot of works on the Pretty Cure and also up to the recent at the mode of at the moment of writing this script, Delicious Party Pretty Cure. And he storyboard episode 4 and 14, which are his recent credits in the series. He also was the director of Splash Star 2. Outside of Pretty Cure, Tokarashi is known for the, being the directing director of these animes. Kamikame Nasei, Jin Deba, Genji Tusan Angadama, and Tenchi Muyo. The series composition of the season is done by Yoshimi Narita. Naoki Sada returns to perform the music of the season, and the character designer is Tashi Karamura. And of course, its studio is Toy Animation. The season aired on Animax, TV Ashi, and TV Ashi Broadcasting Corporation all over Japan and no other overseas countries as of what I could find. The series ran from February 4th, 2007, oh hey, that's the day, to January 27th, 2008, with a number of 49 episodes. Its opening is called Pretty Care 5 Smile Go Go, 
Mayo Kudo. Wrote this song, and the ending songs for the season are "So Sparkle, My True Love," which is my favorite ending of this season, and "Gunbody D Dance, Dreaming Miracles" by Kanako Miyamoto. The story of Yes Five Pretty Cure is centered around the main lead, Nozomi Yumihara. A regular student who finds a magical device called the Dream Call It in the library at her school and meets Coco, a creature-like fairy from the Palmyra Kingdom. Nozomi decides to help him restore his world, the Palmyra Kingdom, which has been destroyed by an evil organization known as Nightmare. By collecting all 55 pinkies in the Dream Collect. Will be able to make any wish come true. By making her decision to help Coco, she proves she has the heart to be a cure and is given a pinky catch, letting her transform into Cure Dream. However, Nozomi cannot fight the nightmares as the legendary Pretty Cure alone, so she must choose a team of four other students to become the legendary warriors known as Pretty Cure, together with Cure Rouge, Cure Lemonade, Cure Mint, and Cure Aqua. They become Yes Pretty Cure Five, while living their double lives as normal middle school students and Pretty Cure. The girls go through a lot of challenges, some of them worse than others. When they are eventually introduced to Milk, they receive a new power to defeat the now stronger nightmares, making them able to continue the fight. Eventually, when they found all the 55 pinkies, the girls have to fight the final nightmares, including their boss, Despreira. Although close to defeat, the girls continue to fight until Cure Dream realizes that Despreira has a heart like them, and although and though her heart, kind heart defeats and through her kind heart, she defeats the last nightmare. However, this also results in separating the girls from the mascots at the end of the series. They have a sequel, which is the fifth season of Pretty Cure, called Yes Pretty Cure Five Go Go. However, we'll not get into that season late. We'll get into the season later. Now let's get on with the characters of Yes Five. First up, let's start with the main group, the Pretty Cure. Again, I won't go into full detail on the characters as I have a series on that, which if you want to see it, you can check it out. Now back to the analysis. We have. Nozomi Yumihara. She is the first girl to become a cure. Before meeting Koko and assisting him in granting his wish, she did not have a dream. However, she soon decided that her dream would be to help Koko and save her his kingdom. Although she is not very smart and is constantly getting into trouble with her goofy attitude, she has a strong and kind heart that eventually makes her the leader of the group. Her alter ego is Cure Dream. Who is the cure of hope, and she has the powers related to starlight. Win Natsuki is the second cure of the group, and the first red cure. She has been Nozomi's best friend since childhood, being professional in all kinds of sports, and also being a responsible older sister to two younger twin siblings. She is often the one to reason with Nozomi when she comes up with her unreasonable ideas. Or is acting too childishly. Although she doesn't want to be a pretty cure at first, Ren accepts her picky catch when she wants to protect Nozomi from danger. Her alter ego is Cure Rouge, who is the pretty cure of passion, and she has powers related to fire. Arara Kasagano is the third cure of the group, and her and she is the first yellow cure. Arara is an exchange student who inspires to be an actress. She is half Japanese from her mother's side and half French from her father's side. Before becoming a pretty cure, she did not have any friends and could not be herself in front of others. Her alter ego is Cure Lemonade, who is the cure of effervescence, and she has powers related to light. Kamachi Akamoto. She is the fourth cure and the first green of the group. Sorry, but you know around pretty cure. You know why I said that. Anyways, Kamachi is an inspiring artist. I'm an author, <laughs> and is already halfway through her first book thanks to Nut's help. She is kind and shy, but when she is angry enough, 
she will snap and release her temper. Her family owns a traditional Japanese sweet shop where she gets cocoa and nuts food from. Along with her best friend and partner Karen, she is one of the popular seniors at the school. Her alter ego is Cure Mint, who is the Cure of Tranquility, and she has powers related to Earth. Karen Minazuki. She is the fifth and last Cure who is the first blue Cure, my favorite color. Karen is the oldest member of the team and comes from a very affluent family. She is the president of the student council, L'Ecole des Cinq Lumières, the middle school. And despite her popularity and strong outward personality, Karen is lonely at home. And because of her awkward relationship with her parents, she has problems properly showing her real feelings. Kamachi is her best friend and a fellow student council member, and also the only one she could tell her real feelings to, too, before she met Nozomi. Her alter ego is Cure Aqua, who is the cure of intelligence, and she has powers related to water. Now let's talk about the mascots of the season. There are three of them. Coco, one of the fairy mascots from Palmyra Kingdom, Coco is a yellow furred tanuki like creature who is searching for the dream collect. When he meets Nozomi, he is always calm, kind, and understanding, especially to Nozomi when he talks to in mascot form, he ends his sentences with Coco. But he can transform into a human and later becomes a teacher at Nozomi's school to keep her watch over her under the alias Koji Koda. About halfway through the season, it is later revealed that he along with Nuts are a prince of the Palmyra Kingdom. Nuts is another fairy from the Palmyra Kingdom resembling that of a brown squirrel that ends his synthesis with Nats. In the beginning of the series, he is sealed within the Dream Collect and is freed after the five members of Pretty Cure receive their powers. At first, he is aloof and has a cult personality due to his past, and he has difficulty trusting the Pretty Cure as well as Coco's judgment. However, he eventually warms up to them, especially to Komachi, who, she, who shares the fondness of books. Like Coco, Nuts can transform into a human, acting as a clerk of a jewelry shop called Nuts House. By the name of Mr. Natsu, like Coco, Nuts is also a prince of the Palmyra Kingdom. Milk, debuting halfway through the season, Milk resembles a white and pink lop rabbit, who, unlike Nuts and Coco, is unable to transform into a human. Milk and Nozomi are always in constant disagreement over food and Pretty Cure's treatment of Cocoa and Nuts. Milk wants to be the perfect servant to Cocoa and Nuts and often gets into trouble because of her desire to do this. However, she does become more prominent in the sequel and you'll see why. And now it's time that we had gotten down with the cares and mascots, it's time for the villains. The group known as Nightmare is the one they fight in the first season which first starts with this introduced villain. Garibma. He is the first nightmare to appear. In his human form, he wears large glasses, a bowler hat, and holds a cane. His original form is a deadly praying mantis, with arms that can slice anything. He greatly fears his superiors, and is often dreaded by Bumby. Gamal is the second nightmare to appear. Gamal is often extremely lazy and refuses to do any work, even if it is his survival and duty has a nightmare depends on it. He is a toad. His human form is that of a large, unkept man. Arachnia is the third nightmare to appear. Arachnia is a woman who transforms into a spider. Her human form is has a short, light purple hair, and she wears a red office dress suit. Bun B is the boss of Garima, Arachnia, and Gamal. His original form is a bee. For the first part of the series, he seems to be the leading knight of the nightmares, but it's soon revealed that he takes orders from Kawaiino. The villains who appear midway in the season are Hedenya, one of the villains appearing in the second part of the season after Arachnia's death. She can transform into a colorful bird-like creature, reminiscent of a Brazilian carnival. She likes to take what she wants, and often forces Bumby to serve her in some way. In her human form, she is a large woman with short purple hair, 
and wears a red jacket with blue pants and lots of large jewelry. Bloody is the last nightmare to show up. He can transform into a bat-like creature, shooting sonic waves at his enemies. He usually tries to win by persuasion and talking, only using a Quarina to help him rather than do all the work himself. Quarina is Despair's secretary. He conveys her intentions and orders to the Nightmares and reports to her on their missions. Most of the other Nightmares fear him. His name is a play on the Japanese word Korari, which means substitute. Despera is the leader of Nightmares, and she is the first female villain to be the main antagonist, who intends to gain internal life and to bring despair to the world. She has ordered her subordinates to obtain the Dream Collect for this purpose. She has long brown hair and wears a purple dress. For most of the season, her face is obscured by a mask whenever she we see her. And for the supporting characters at the Cures Middle School, there is Mika Masako, who is the chief editor of Quest Lumiere's News. Her goal is to get the scoop on Pretty Cure, but she always either fails or is distracted, distracted by something. Whenever introducing herself, she like asks people to call her by the name Masuko Mika. A play off on the word Misokomi, which means mass media. And the last character of Yes 5 is a woman known as Otaka san, who is the mistress of the cafeteria in the girls' school where they always eat lunch. She is a cheerful middle aged woman who sometimes gives them good advice. Secretly, she is also the school headmistress. The Kuaina are the weekly monsters of the season. They are a tool of the nightmares that is created by putting a special mask on an intimate object, causing it to come alive and cause destruction. The villains often use this for both offense and defense. There are three items that appear in this season. The first is the Picky Catch. They are the henshin and transformation devices used by the girls to transform into Pretty Cure. They are also used to capture pinkies, which are will be transferred into the Dream Collect. The second item in the season, and speaking of the Dream Collect, is the Collect itself, which is a book that, that once all five pinkies are collected and transferred into, will make any wish come true. The last and third item of the season is the Sifmoni set which are weapons used by the curious for upgraded attacks. They are used for both single and a group attack. Crystal Shoe is Cure Dream's second attack, used with the Dream Touch, one of the weapons of the set. With the Rouge attack, Cure Rouge can perform the attack Rouge Burning. The Lemonade Castanet allows Cure Lemonade to perform the attack Lemonade Shining. Mint Leaf lets Cure Mint use Mint Shield, and finally, the Aqua Ribbon used by Cure Aqua allows her to summon the attack Aqua Tornado. Together with all the set's weapons in Milk's powers, they can use the group attack 5 Explosion. And because this season, the Cures blow a lot of stuff up. Even Mint can do it too, even if her attacks are in the season are only defensive attacks. In the season, the name of the town the Precures live in is not named or known, unlike the main towns or cities in Splasher and Fatariwa, which was called the Garden of Rainbows and Greenery, there are, there are evidence I did find of possible names and where it's located, however, I cannot find that for the Yes 5 Cures, so if you know, you can tell me. Now for the locations that the Cures visit and go to often. L'Ecole des Saint Lumières is the middle school the girls attend. It's an all-girls school, which on campus includes a theater, lake, sports field, library, and the cafeteria, which is outside. There is an underground area that can be accessed by the sewers. Originally, the school can be misspelled in the animation as Ching Lumière. Its name in direct translation, which means School of the Five Lights. Palmyra Kingdom is the homeland of cocoa, nuts, and milk. 
Its name comes from the French word for coconut tree. Hence the character's names, Coco and Nuts. Palmiers is also a French kind of bakery and connects the names of the kingdoms to also be a bakery related surrounding kingdoms. The kingdom is one on an island surrounded by four other islands with their own respective kingdoms that belong to rulers known as the four rulers. We can get to them in the Gogo part of the analysis. Nightmare is the base of the villains, and it appears to look like an office building located in the middle of a city district, as the villains in this season seem to have an evil corporation theme. Nat's house is the jewelry shop owned by Nuts. This is usually the place the curious hang out at and also help run the shop too. Esprar is a shop owned by Nozomi's mother, and its name is derived from the French word for hope. Another shop is Floriste Natsuki. It's the flower shop owned by Wynn's parents, whose name first name is derived from Floriste, which means which is the French word for florist. And the last location in the season is the Mirror Kingdom. It's a parallel world that only appears in the Yes 5 movie. We are now in for the fifth season of Pretty Care, which is the sequel of Yes Pretty Care 5, titled Yes Pretty Care 5 Go Go. None of the staff there has changed out and everyone returns. In this season, the girls of the Yes 5 Pretty Care team are given new powers and gain new allies in order to save the four kingdoms that surround Palmyre so they can protect Flora and the Care Rose Garden from the evil organization known as Eternal. The season also celebrates the 5th anniversary of Pretty Cure franchise. Like I have said, no one from the staff has changed. Everyone who worked it on the original 4th season, yes Pretty Cure 5, remained in GoGo. -Go. All network are the same, the studio is always Toei. GoGo -Go had ran from February 3rd, 2008 to Feb January 25th, 2009 with a number of 48 episodes, compared to Yes 5's 49 episodes. The opening song for this season is Pretty Cure 5 Full Throttle Go Go by Mayo Kudo, and the two ending songs of the season are Connecting Our Heart Hands Also Links Our Hearts by Kanako Mayamoto, and another Gundabi Dance version called Gundabi Dance we Lie of Hope, done as a quartet with Gojo Mayumi, Yuka Uchiai, Mayu Kaido, and Kanako Mayamoto. It has been some time since Nightmare has been defeated and Coco, Nuts, and Milk have left to rebuild the Palmyre Kingdom. During this time, an invert group called Eternal has been stealing valuable items from various dimensions. They have now targeted the mysterious Rose Pact belonging to the ambiguous Cure Rose Garden. The guardian of this realm, Flora, has asked for help from Pretty Cure. They now must fight Eternal and revive the four rulers to be able to go to the Cure Rose Garden. Along the way, they meet Syrup, a male boy who has amnesia and the ability to go anywhere, and Milky Rose, a warrior who draws her powers from the Wear Blue Rose. Now we will not talk about the returning characters obviously because we just talked about them. But in GoGo we are given new faces that are also important to the series. First up, let's talk about the warrior uh, known as Milky Rose first. Her name is Kurumi Mimino. Kurumi is the first scene when she saves Pretty Cure from Eternal as Milky Rose but does not present herself properly, making the girls wonder which side she is on. She is later transformed into Le Col de Saint Lumières, where she shows her refined, yet sometimes bizarre personality. Soon she is revealed to be Milk, who has gained the power to transform into a human. When she is human, she prefers to be called Kurumi and not Milk, unlike Coco and Nuts. Her alter ego is Milky Rose, who is the Blue Rose. Other new characters are the Four Rulers. They have kingdoms that surround each direction. East, West, South, and North. They are the allies of the Cures along with Flora, a mysterious woman who guards the Care Rose Garden. She has long pink hair, with a tiara on her head, 
on her head, and that is composed of five jewels in which of the corresponding five creators' colors. And she has some sort of a connection to the boss of Eternal. Syrup, a fairy mascot who resembles an orange feathered bird, he has amnesia severely enough that he cannot remember where he came from. He is slightly arrogant and works as a delivery boy, but also wishes to help Pretty Cure in order to regain his memories. When in mascot form, he ends his sentences with Rup. Besides uh, his mascot form, he has two other forms. A giant bird resembling his mascot form that can be used as aerial transport, and a teenage boy with a human alias, Shiro Mai. There is also Mailpo, a walking pink mailbox that works with syrup and is using and is used for sending and receiving letters. The villains of the season are from the evil group known as Eternal. The weekly monsters are no longer the Kwayanans used by Nightmare. Eternal uses the monsters known as Hoshinas, and they look like yellowish spotted orange balls with eyes on them. They, they that can insert it into an intimate object, causing it to come alive and cause destruction, same way as the Kwayanan monsters the villains use for both defense and offense. For the villains of Eternal who use these monsters to use these monsters Hoshinas, his first up is Scorp, the first Eternal member to be shown. His original form resembles a scorpion, and he seems to know a lot about Syrup in his circumstances. Bumby returns from the last season. He is now a lone waking member of Eternal, often acting as common relief. There is also Nebatakos. His name sounds like a taco to me when I say it. His real form resembles an octopus. He doesn't like rules very much, and thus is often arguing with Anaconda about his reports. Ixonan and Yokohan. Ixonan is a tall man, while Yokohan is a small one, and the two are considered the best hunters of Eternal. When transformed into their monster forms, Ixonan is a Anemone on top of Yokohan, who is a hermit crab underneath. Shibrietta is an old woman with a mushroom on her head. She manipulates fairy tales to fight Pretty Cure, trapping them in fairy tale worlds with Hiroshinas. There is Marcardia, who is the most recent member of Eternal and is an extremely good looking man, a trait he uses to approach Pretty Cure, especially when his true form is a humanoid centipede. Anna Condi is a middle-aged woman with purple hair resembling Medusa's and acts as an ambassador among the Eternal. She is usually the one to order the other members around, take care of the rare objects they bring in, and claim report papers for, from the members. She is very strict with everyone and prefers to follow rules and regulations perfectly. And finally, the main villain of the season is called Boss. He is the leader of Eternal, intending to gain eternal life by finding the keys of the Cure Rose Garden. He is usually seen with a large, elaborate mask on and sitting on a hovering chair. And he also has a relationship with Flora. In GoGo, the team gets about six different items to use. The main team uses the Cure Mo, the new henshin and transformation device used by Dream, Rouge, Lemonade, Mint, and Aqua. The Cure Fillet are sword-like weapons used by the five Cures. They are like the Symphony set, and they are named after the attacks of the Cures. These swords can only be used in the group attack, Rainbow Rose Explosion. Krumi does not use a current mode to transform into Milky Rose. Instead, she uses the item called the Mickey Palette to transform. She also used a laptop called Milky Note, which is created by Nuts. The laptop can summon the Milky Mirror, which is a pinwheel, and she can activate the attack Milky Rose Metal Blizzard. And the final item is the Rose Pack, given to the Cures by Flora to protect. This gains people, it grants people access to the Cure Rose Garden. The same locations from the last season return. The only new two new locations we can mention here are the Cure Rose Garden, a secret garden guarded by Flora and the four rulers who have keys to the garden.
And then there is Eternal HQ. Its interior resembles that of a museum. There is no information on the kingdoms won by the four rulers, and the curious never visit them. It is only where they are located and the locations which each ruler shares the name from. Donuts, Barrios, Crepe, and Montblanc. Now, as the last part of the analysis, finally, let's go on with interesting facts to know about the 4th and 5th season of Pretty Cure. Let's start with Yes 5. Yes 5 is the first season in the series where fairies don't transform into the henshin devices. The fairies can become human and each cure can, can attack independently. It also is the first season to include 5 members. Yes, Pretty Cure 5 has the shortest single transformation sequence, with everyone's full normal transformation lasting for just under 30 seconds. Yes, Pretty Cure 5 is the first series to have a Super Sentai-like dynamic with its cures, a team of heroes, each a different color, who work together to defeat an evil organization that threatens mankind and sends mods to destroy them. The dynamic is also present in all of the Pretty Cure series that follow. A bonus is that the town setting the Cures live at, all of the buildings strongly resemble France 19th century cities. And also in early sketches, the five Cures originally were going to have some kind of personal vehicles, but unfortunately this idea could never come true and got scrapped instead. Actually, I just thought of something. What if Hiragar Sky Pretty Cure, since it appears to have a hero theme, and that is also going to be airing when I upload this. Cure Scott can have the Skymobile! <laughs> yeah, I, I know this like um drawing that you may see is terrible looking. This is why I don't draw, but but at least L Chan has um a seatbelt. <laughs> well, probably like not they're gonna have like a vehicle or something like that. That would be like for like I feel like you know like traveling across like the worlds, but it's a new season of traveling different worlds, so let's just get back to the video and talk about like um, Go Go facts. So um, for Go Go, Yes Pretty 5 Go Go is the last season to be drawn with hand drawn animation for the endings, and all the endings in the future seasons are used in CGI. Yes Pretty Cure 5 Go Go, along with Fatari Wild Pretty Cure Maxar, are the only seasons to not have a second opening. And Yes Pretty Cure 5 Go Go team was the first to appear in another movie besides their own, and the All Stars movie. That being Healing Good Pretty Cure transform enthusiastically Go Go into the City of Dreams. And finally, we've made it to the end of the analysis. If you stayed through the whole thing, thank you. And finally, finally, we can get into Fresh Pretty Cure. So get ready. Peach is coming, so run, if you look for the character information series. See you in a couple of years or whatever when the next- whenever I completed um, fresh pretty care characters to make their analysis. Bye.